Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel today. I have my owl crate. And I'm going to unbox it for you. I'm not going to go into everything. Like, owl crate is a YA subscription. They have a middle grade subscription box called Owl Crate Junior. Uh, if you're a homeschooler, all that. Uh, if you want to know, then you can go watch my other unboxings. I'm sorry I'm looking all uh, shiny. It's hot. It's 90 something degrees with 107 heat index. So, And I had to go outside to my mailbox to get this. And just walking to my mailbox, it was torture. This is the July Outcrate. The theme was trials and tournaments or tournaments and trials, something like that. And I just uploaded Ariana's Alcrate Junior box today. So I will link that down below if you have not seen it. Go and watch it. But let's just get into the box, shall we? Ooh. Okay, so we got a spoiler card with some fairies and some bees. And tournaments and trials. So. annual B race huh okay I was wondering why is this the art for a trials and tournaments or tournaments and trial theme but it's a race so it answers my question so I'm not gonna look at the back of that but I, the first thing I am gonna pull out is the mug I've been waiting for this I just got my uh, Harry Potter pre-order from Kara Kozik that she did back in April. I got that two days ago. Ari got her um, Alcrate Junior mug from Bonnie Lou. I think that's it's the same person who did the uh, December mug for the Alcrate Junior. And this is from Kara Kozik. So this is my little thing that I got in my pre-order. I don't see one in here, so. And I think this is the same line that the other two previous Harry Potter mugs for Alcrate were included in. Uh, I don't have those. Because I wasn't subscribed. But, okay. This one is obviously Goblet of Fire. I think the first one was Hagrid's Pumpkin Patch. And then the... Third, the second one was Prisoner of Azkaban, the night bus, I think. I'm not sure. But this one is uh, Goblet of Fire because of the Triwizard Tournament. It's got the dragon. It's got the egg and Harry on his fire bolt with the stand, the kids in the stand watching. So this is the Quidditch pitch. It's got Hogwarts, it's got um, Bow Batten and Drumstring, their transportation. And then it's got the more spectators with the uh, maze. And then the Triwizard Cup in the graveyard, which is awesome. Oh, and the lake. I don't have a mermaid. Oh, yeah, it does right there. Oh, I'm going to pick out every single part. <laughs> I love it. Let's see what this is. And I hope I don't drop any little wormies because my cat ate one the other day and it was just. Bleh. So. It's a puzzle! And a little owl crate baggie. And then puzzle pieces. So I don't know when I'm going to have time to put this together because my kids have many puzzles to put together. It's a 300 piece jigsaw puzzle. Holly Dunn Design illustrated the puzzle and she had many fun little details from The Night Circus. Have not read that. 
Use the accompanying art print to help you on your quest to complete it. People see what they wish to see. So this is the puzzle. It's really pretty. I may put this together <laughs> soon. Just scrap what I just said about doing puzzles and I may put this together and like frame it. Cause yeah, this is beautiful. And I love the uh, candles and then the dripping wax. Oh. May the odds be ever in your favor. Oh, it's a coin purse. This is going to get some use. I have a bunch of change. The little arrows. And then may the odds be ever in your favor. With the little owl. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. I don't love anything Hunger Games I'm in obsessed with. Oh, lanyard. I need a new one. Okay. Ugh. Worms. Oh, and these have little succulents and cacti. Whoever hates the word succulents, I'm sorry, but... And it says, bravery hides in amazing places. I love the little cacti and all the little cute little faces. Ooh. Here's the pin. I don't know if y'all can see that because of the glare, but it looks like a pair of scissors and ribbon. And it's got a sun and a moon. Like ribbon cutting. And the last thing I see before the book is a another set of playing cards. And these are inspired by uh, A Gathering of Shadows by V. Schwab. I have not read that book series yet, but I have bought the book set from Book Outlet. And funny thing is, back in March... Me and Casey were looking for a deck of playing cards because we wanted to teach our girls how to play war. And we went to all the stores around us, could not find one set of playing cards. In March, I pre-ordered the uh, Caraval Limited Edition box from Alcrate. And it came with a deck of playing cards. In April, we found a deck of playing cards. I got my box in May. And now look, I got a third deck of playing cards. We were looking for a deck of playing cards so bad, and now we're out the, growing out the ears in deck of playing cards. Look at these. They're red foiled. Oh, these are pretty. And they're just... Let me show you the... Oh, the faces are the same, so... It's just the uh, four Londons. The white London, gray London, black London, and red London. But I don't know what these little symbols mean. So I'm going to have to read the series soon. These will be put up until I read the series. And now... Oh, i got an art print. Ooh, hello. Oh, it's not art print, it's promo. Grandmother said I will be a powerful witch doctor one day, but I cannot wait that long. So it's cool. And she's sitting on skulls. Oh, yes, please. And it's not Book Snake, but it's the cousin of Book Snake. It's The Kingdom of Souls by Rena Baron. A captivating YA fantasy debut where magic has a price if you're willing to pay on sale September 3rd. It's pretty. I hope the cover of this of this book is the shiny. 
that I'm intrigued. I'm going to have to look more into that. Now, the book. I was spoiled for the book because of Book Alley on Instagram. But that's my fault for looking. So, the book for the month is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. And it's an exclusive signed edition. I don't know what's different from the original. Ooh. I don't like this plastic. Ugh. Ooh, it's embossed. Okay. And I'm tired of being told I'm not worthy. It's a cool bookmark. I've got a beautiful written letter. And then it says it's signed, which right here. <sighs> On the fringes of the Great Spice Road, Maya Tamarin works as a seamstress in the shop of her father, once a tailor of renown. She dreams of becoming the greatest tailor in the land, but as a girl, the best she can hope for is to marry well. Mm. Sounds interesting. I haven't heard much. I haven't seen much of this book. Um, but I've always been into Asian culture and obsessed, not obsessed, but in, interested. So... To save her country, a young tailor must sew three gowns from the laughter of the sun, the tears of the moon, and the blood of the, of the stars. Now, the pen makes sense now. She's a seamstress, and that's why it's got the moon and the sun. Okay. The mug has to be my favorite. Um, the deck of playing cards, they'll get used. The puzzle, mm, it's pretty, but I don't know when I'm going to get to that. And the book, I haven't heard much, but I will be reading it eventually. And then the pen is pretty. So the only thing I'm excited about is the mug. Uh, anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Comment down below what was your favorite thing out of this box. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.